I've talked a lot about microplastics causing problems on Hawaii's pristine beaches. And unfortunately, Hawaii has a long history of its shores gathering and becoming a magnet for all kinds of ghost gear from fishing vessels. A lot of ropes, a lot of nets, which have been cut loose over the years, end up on Hawaii's rocky shores. This is what we found in Hana on Maui on a recent trip. The shoreline there uh, was just popping with these green nets. This problem isn't going anywhere anytime soon, but the encouraging news is more companies are starting to find ways to use this plastic and recycle it into brand new products. Case in point, this t-shirt I'm wearing is from a company called Tentree. So they plant 10 trees for every product you buy, and a lot of their materials are made with partly recycled plastics. Uh, Banana Republic has a line of eco sweaters. This is one I bought. It's nice and comfortable, pretty soft, and they have a bunch of t-shirts in their eco line as well. They say six bottles go into every t-shirt, into the fabric of the t-shirt. They're very soft, and these are kind of a bargain. These I've found on sale over the past few months for just about 12 bucks each. There's another company called Waterhall, and I've had these for a while. Boy, have they lasted. They make sunglasses and some other products out of hauls of recycled fishing gear which have washed up uh, on beaches all over the world. These are really good quality. I hike with them all the time. They cost me about a hundred bucks maybe two years ago. And from head to toe I have new hiking socks from a company called Definite Articles and the socks are made partially of recycled plastics and if you're thinking Boy, that sounds sweaty on my feet. I thought so too. Uh, they're not. They're really comfortable. They kind of wick the moisture away. Again, recycled plastic socks made by definite articles. So it's really all kinds of products we're seeing made out of recycled plastics. On a much larger scale, companies are realizing plastics can make really good long-lasting furniture as well. There's a company based in Phoenix, Arizona called Patio Furniture. They have a new line created mostly of recycled plastic milk jugs. Now compared to a t-shirt, this is much more of an investment, but they say this really lasts even in our extreme intense summer heat here in the Arizona desert. So you could spend a couple dollars on a shirt or a couple thousand dollars on a new patio set made of recycled plastics. Uh, either way, none of this is going to solve the huge problem we have with plastics and ghost gear washing up on our shores, but at least we could feel like we're doing something and we can also support all of these companies which are coming up with new products and new ways to recycle all of that pollution washing up on our shores around the world.